Hi. Hi. How are you? Good morning, guys, and it's another beautiful day in Melbourne. And so today I am going to be getting an interview with Nero who has an episode called Drive with an Entrepreneur. So he drives the entrepreneur in his car and asks them questions about their business and how they got to where they are. And so I'm gonna be doing an interview with him. After that, plan to take my son out again before I head back to Sydney. I'm just at Nero's house now and I'm about to see him. Hi. Hi. <laughs> how are you? You can see it. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, so this is the car, huh? Oh, this is where we're going to be interviewed. This is the, uh, oh, look at this. Ryan, let's It's got all decked out. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yes, and, uh, look at that. Wow. So, yeah, Nero, I just watched your episode with Jim's mowing. Like, that was so amazing. How did Thank you even get that? Yeah, so. Um, I just messaged uh, Jim on, on LinkedIn and I said to him, this is what I do. He has a couple of uh, episodes, so he doesn't think I'm a fluke. Yeah. And uh, his business developer managed to go back to me. Yeah. He probably thought I wanted to buy a franchise. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, I'm not here to buy a franchise. I just want to interview this guy. Yeah. And he said, oh, you know what? I'll put you in touch with Jim. I'll, in fact, I'll send you a mail to Jim. Yes. And at 3 a.m., I get a message from Jim Penman himself wow. saying, Nero, Watch your episodes, man. Love it. I want to be a part oh, of good. it. Oh, good. And he lives in Melbourne? Uh, yeah, he lives in Melbourne. Oh, uh, good. Not too far. I think Mont or some, something oh, cool. like that. Uh, yeah. Talk about the power of networking. Sometimes it's... A, I think you just got to ask the question. Yeah, you just got to do it. Because sometimes you feel like they're like there and you shouldn't ask. But then yeah. they're probably just so humble, you know? Very humble. And yeah. look, in life, I think, you know, you either get a yes or no in yes. life, right? If yeah, it's a no, yeah. okay, thank you very much. You just move on. Yeah, that's uh, right. So, uh, yeah, that, 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 I think I got to be lucky there. But uh, that's how I got Jim. Yeah. The great Jim Penn. So how many interviews are you doing every... So you're, you're the sixth... Yes. Um, so we try to do it every week. Sometimes, um, you know, you release yeah. it once a week. But uh, is there a, a backlog of uh, interviews now? Yeah, like yeah, you yeah, yeah, try yeah. to keep a library Cut. of it. That's it. That's it. And uh, so after you, we got Tom Griffith from Emma and Tom uh, fruit, fruit juices and all. Oh that. yeah, yeah. That's so amazing. You, I'm sure you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, that's there as well. Uh, yeah. And then we got a branding expert coming after that called um, uh, Darren Smith. Yes. And after that, we actually got Philip DiBella from DiBella Coffee. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so awesome. It's, it's, getting... it's good. You know, it, it's uh, getting all the traction that yeah. you're looking for. Yeah. Uh, and, Building uh, your contacts with them, direct contact with them too. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Their relationship. I, 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 think it's, I think it's very important, just like anything, because that's why I was really focused on putting the first episode out there mm. and then the second yeah uh, because there's a lot of shows which start to the first episode and then they just disappear off. yeah, I, yeah I, it's I, really you have to be consistent and yeah, persistent yeah <laughs> and, and I, I wanted to make sure that that doesn't happen with this second episode came uh, so first episode was france madeleine who who owns uh, bonbons bakery yes. chain and all that stuff right yeah great guy uh, i knew him personally so that helped as well then i i got pete williams he sold the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Yeah, yeah. 21. Do you know what's funny? I actually knew Pete Williams back seven years ago when I first started oh, my business. Yeah, you told me this. Yeah, yeah, yeah how that's weird right. is that? Yeah. Like small so world. Small world. Yeah. Uh, and then third, we had Ryan Gomez, a life coach and storyteller. Yeah. Fourth episode, uh, that's Harry Chahal. Uh, no, fourth episode, sorry, was actually Jim Pinman. Yes. Fifth episode, last episode was Harry Chahal, life coach, like, you know, we, motivational speaker. We talked about life in general. And then we had a great lead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's like a full production. There's gonna be other guys driving around us and filming different angles, right? Different yeah. Angles, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, All let's right. get going. Let's go back to the early days. Yes. So you came to Australia when you were nine years old. Mm -hmm. Did the did growing up in Australia influence you somewhere to be the entrepreneur that yeah, you have today? Yeah, definitely. I mean, being born in Vietnam and raising in that time where you're so poor, you had nothing. Coming to Australia was just like the most fortunate thing ever for me. I just felt like, oh my God, I can have anything I want now that I ha I'm in Australia. Just the abundance, the you know, the schooling. The, the, I knew that if I just work hard and really take advantage of what Australia can offer me, I will be successful. And so I've even 
being born in Vietnam, I knew that I wanted to be successful. Like I was, I did have the mindset like a lot of the Asian people. Mm. I was like, how do these rich people get rich? I want to be like them, and they're just human beings. Like I want to be like them. So we've just done a few questions, and then the process is they have a little pit stop and change the camera around. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit hot in the car because <laughs> they have to keep the windows up so the sound doesn't, um, yeah, doesn't make loud muffles and stuff. So we basically have the windows up, and because it's an older car, we don't have no aircon, so it's a bit hot. But today's weather's really nice. So we've been wondering what this smell is, and there's actually a cow that's dead. What the hell? These are the two legs. Three legs. Three <laughs> legs. Oh my god. Wow. How does a cow even get here? Oh god. Okay, so that's a wrap up for today. I am at the airport going to fly back to Sydney now. Thanks for watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe or share my videos with your friends. Until tomorrow, bye!